must learn those values and we shall depend on you Kenyans who have been out to see how things are run in other countries who have ex experienced this freedom of Canada where you meet with all people from all over the world and yet live harmoniously and coexist with each other without any difficulty. Tunataka hii mambo mpeleke kule nyumbani na hiyo message mkiongea na watu nyumbani that message you send home and we learn just to live like people live in Canada with each other irrespective of our color, our, our gender, our tribe, our religion, anything. Kama sivyo? Tena nikisema hivyo let me also say that I've just one about Canada. As you love your country Kenya, I think you have been welcomed in this country with open arms. Your MPs, both members of the provincial parliament uh, who came here, your own member of parliament in Ottawa have come and spoken. They have participated in your function. And this country has welcomed you with open arms and give you all the support and the atmosphere to realize your talents and expand your knowledge and your professionalism. Asima, you must also be good citizens of Canada and promote the good image of Canada in Kenya and the good image of Kenya in Canada. Ama Sivio? Please, you go to our website. I just want to join what Flora said, registration. Please register. Register with KCO, register with Kekalo, register with Kenya High Commission so that we can communicate with you. We can inform you of developments in our own country. And there are many developments. And I'm very happy that uh, uh, what were KCB or Mekuja Hapa to promote uh, their bank. And it's not just uh, they didn't come here to promote your bank because you are you're Canadians. It's the, the realization suddenly of the importance of diaspora and their contribution to the Kenyan economy. Last year, the Kenyan diaspora remitted. 156 billion shillings to Kenya. 156 billion. That's when it clicked. Case KCB said, "Oh, you mean there's this amount of money? Eh? What you do when they uko?" And we welcome them in open arms because you have answered. You're going to answer some of the questions which they have been asking me. Now they are going to ask you to hear from the horse's mouth. While well, I want you are being conned when you try to invest in Kenya, we need some money. Pale, I want to say, when you pay your debt, you to come to Kenya. Ama Jennifer, why are you here? You are Maswali with Ajibu, and you will advise them how they should avoid being conned by conmen, by relatives, uncles and sisters, with our party, Nafasi, how to avoid all those pitfalls people have suffered here at the hands of relatives. Uh, the other banks will be coming. This is just the first one. And I want to encourage KCB to listen to Kenyans. Don't develop products which you think you want to sell. I want you to talk to them and develop the products they want. When I talk about product planning, you need to make sure you have to answer your product. I'm alone. Loan la sema ipatikane kwa Canadian dollar for Canadians. Yes. Kenyan Canadian. Kama sivyo? Yapo, eh. Yes, hiyo muende mulete hiyo product. Eh. Habana kuja kutuambia US dollar safari hii habana nzuri atuwezi saa hii. No no, umesikia. Tafuta hiyo product na ulete next year tutangaze hapa. Eh. We are going to talk to you. You know the elections coming. You should visit the website of IEBC regularly. I think they will require you uh, I know they sent something to say you fill out some forms if you are interested in voting. You want to know how many of you are in, in, uh, in, in London, Ontario, how many of you are in uh, Toronto, how many of you are in Edmonton. Register also with us so that we can advise them how many of you are in each, in each part of Canada. Uh, so that when the voting comes, you are free to participate and play a role in the decision making. To elect people who make decisions on your behalf. Because the Constitution says, 
the sovereignty of Kenya belongs to the people, which they will only delegate to their elected leaders temporarily for five years. Una patia yo yo na pas. Ikifika mi akatano una mbia sasa rudini. We we see if we shall elect you again or we take back our power from you and hand it over to somebody else. So with those few remarks, let me once again uh, thank Kekalo. I also want to recognize KCO. Wapi kito kito me? Asante kwa nakito me. You are here, please. Asante sana. These people are doing a great job. KCO, juzi tulikuwa na manafunzi Cuba, because mimi pia ndiyo balosi wa Kenya Cuba. Who was stranded, could not get a ticket, and they came up together and raised $2,000. Bought a ticket for that young doctor stranded in Cuba, and she's gotten a ticket now. She'll be flying to Kenya uh, to go and serve her community as a doctor. You know, we have shortage of these people. And I want to thank you very much and your community and your committee for that effort.